So what you saying? Stop playing. You got me going insane. The way you shaking that frame, baby. Hold up, that boy lame. He gone. Hey guys, welcome back to the Nova Show. It's your host, International Nova. Now I'm actually pretty excited. Every day we get closer and closer to the relaunch of our music label, B. Now some of you guys might know I am the head of music here at Freedom, as well as the head of B. And we're looking for artists and musicians to sign to our record label, as well as potential partners to bring into our Beat MCM. Now some of the cool things that we are working on is a artist dashboard, new content for the Beat YouTube page, brand new relaunched website, as well as digital global distribution and YouTube monetization. Now if you guys are interested, go ahead and click on the Beat icon below and sign up. So please stay tuned for the relaunch of Beat. I will keep you guys updated with any news. Now with that being said, let's get to the music news. Authorities have raided Lil Wayne's Miami mansion as part of a civil case in which it was ruled that Lil Wayne owes a jet leasing company over $2 million in missed payments. Now apparently Lil Wayne was not home when authorities arrived, but I'm pretty sure he's a little upset about what's going on. Now in other news, SoundCloud has just launched a brand new app. The app is called SoundCloud Pulse and is aimed at helping content creators manage their account anywhere and everywhere easily. Now through the app, users are able to reply to comments, post music, and the ability to check their stats. Now the only downside is that the app is currently only available for Androids. Now in other news, Major Lazer and The Weeknd on the same song? Well according to Diplo, the song definitely exists. Now in a recent interview, Diplo did state that the group is working on a brand new album and one of the songs features The Weeknd. Now according to Diplo, the song is going to be a single and should be available by mid-April. So it looks like we'll have to wait a little while to hear the song. And in other news, YouTube star PewDiePie, which I probably completely messed up the pronunciation. PewDiePie? 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 And if I did, I find that easier name to pronounce. But anyway, PewDiePie supports YouTube Red. Now, according to PewDiePie, YouTube Red is YouTube's answer to AdBlock. Now, recently he polled his Twitter fans and asked the question how many people use AdBlock. Now, according to the poll, over 40% of his Twitter fans do use AdBlock. He also goes on to say that that 40% represent a 40% loss in potential revenue for a YouTube content creator. And thus YouTube Red and the potential revenue from YouTube Red would be very beneficial. Now as a side note, YouTube has announced that all YouTube content creators will still be getting paid throughout the entire trial period for YouTube Red. Now in other news, the Jay-Z owned streaming service Tidal has just added more original content programming for the streaming service. Now it's just been announced that the streaming service has just ordered a second season of Money and Violence, which was distributed by YouTube originally. Now aside from Money and Violence, the streaming service is also set to launch a brand new stand-up comedy talk show called No Small Talk, hosted by DJ Cypher Sounds. Now that's it for the Nova Show. Thank you for tuning in. Please tune in on Friday for our next Freedom Partner Spotlight. Until then, you guys take care.